Hi there. In a previous video, I created this value index uh, column, and actually, I've just created another one um, previous year index value. So, I've got these um, two numbers. Um, and the reason for doing that is I want, I want to show you a bit of configuration of the pop up that's really powerful. I won't go through every option in it, but just to give you a starter so you can see how you can um, make it give, give you some. Um, really valuable information with one click. So um, when you click on this layer at the moment, buildings two, not much happens. It just tells you some kind of reference and that's about it. I'd like it to do a bit more for me. So right hand mouse click, go to configure pop-ups. In here you'll see where you can really customize what you want to show in the, in, in the pop-ups for this layer. So let's just, just get straight down to it. So when you, um, apart from setting a few you know, things about borders and colors, etc., cetera, um, what I'm really particularly interested in is the actual um, information that's coming out. So I won't focus too much on fonts and stuff. So first of all, the title, let's just click on this. So th the title, so it's just, it's just coming up with the name of the buildings. So let's put something a bit more useful in there. So we'll type building number, and then it's going to put the FID in there. So that's what it looks like at the moment. Now watch when I click. See, building number 30433. So it puts that in the sort of title. So what I'd like to do now is perhaps add some fields. So at the moment there's five fields to choose from. Um, so we've already got that FID one popping up so we don't need that uh, and actually I'm not bothered about the other FID either. So let's have the height and the two um, uh, other fields displayed. So now, um, so I've got three fields popping up so I click, so it has height value index and the previous um, index value. So there you go, that's the straightforward information. That, that's great. And I could, when you click on this, when you edit, I could switch to HTML mode and you get HTML um, code there and you'll be able to do whatever you like to that. So knock yourself out with, with that. What about an image? Well, I click on image and add an image to all of this. And I could say something like, photo title for the image and we can say uh, photo of and then put the identifier so that's photo of uh, now I just so happen to have our offices picture of that and I could add in a hyperlink to that picture okay and intriguingly I could refresh the image over time. So I've got an image in there, let's go back. Now let's click and see what happens. So you see I've got I've got a photo written there, photo of whatever is the picture, and you see it turns into the hand because that's hyperlink. And I click, it's now kicked off my browser. So <clears throat> what about a chart? Um if you click on chart, why why not um let's call this and we'll say comparison of value index between this year and last, for example. And there are the two, value index and the previous year, which is the last one. Um, there's various things, you know, we can have a line, can have a pie, there's sort of horizontal horizontal bars, whatever. We'll just have standard stacked. Um, and then you can normalize if required. But I'm just going to leave it like that. And now when I click, you get a nice little chart in there as well. So we're really building this 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 uh, pop up here. You could, as a sort of final thing in here, add a carousel. 
which could be a sequence of images or charts, for example. You can sort of flick through, but uh, just just play with that one and have a go. I'll delete those for the moment. Remove pop-up element with the clicking on the X. So that's a quick um, run through. Um, at the bottom, the screen, the bottom right, is have reset to reset the whole pop-up configuration. And indeed, when you right-hand click, you go disable pop-ups for this session. Let's say. So now, whenever I click, let's get rid of that. Uh, no pop-ups at all happen. Nothing. Nothing at all happens. And as soon as I enable. I get all of this. Anyway, I hope you find that uh, quick look at configuring pop-ups useful. Thanks very much.